morning. It feels really good to be vlogging again today. It is MLK day, but I do still have to go to work. I don't get the day off like so many other people do, but that's okay because last week we had three snow days, so I really can't complain. Um, I'm excited to work a full week hopefully this week but I am ready for work and just watching some Australian Survivor, which is just so good. Um, one thing that I did do, um, I guess during my time away from filming was buy this gigantic TV. Um, it's 86 inches and it has truly been like a life changing thing because for the first time in a while, I can like sit on my couch and actually see the TV. And so being low vision, it was just totally worth the purchase. And it really showed me that sometimes things are worth like problem solving. And for so long I got frustrated um, because I couldn't sit on my couch and see the TV. And so making this purchase was just like, I mean, it was truly life changing and um, it has made all the difference and it's really inspired me to think about how I can problem solve other frustrations in my life. Um, so, and plus I'm just loving the, the new setup that we have going on in our entertainment area. Um, but yes, I'm headed to work and hopefully it's a good day. I just got home from work and it started snowing right as it was time to leave. And so it was pretty slick. So I'm glad to be home safe. I'll show you what it looks like outside. So it'll be interesting to see if we have a snow day tomorrow. I'm hoping we don't, but you know, we'll just have to see how the roads are in the morning. Luckily, I think it stopped snowing. So hopefully, it gives it enough time to like clear everything off, but yeah, it was kind of a little bit of a hectic afternoon. One of my newfound coping skills is listening to audiobooks and coloring because I need something to like do so I don't, I don't know, I can't just like stare at a wall and listen to a book. So I've been using this coloring book and um, just working my way through it. I'm currently listening to a book called My Heart and Other Black Holes. I'm almost done, so I want to finish that up today so I can start my next book. Um, it's a really good book. I do recommend, but it would definitely need like a trigger warning because uh, it definitely has themes of like suicide and depression, but I love a good like mental health, mental illness novel. It was recommended to me by one of my friends and yeah, I've really been liking it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and do some coloring because this is the year of better coping skills. And so this will be, once I finish this, it'll be my third book this year so far. So I'm honestly, I'm on a roll. One of my favorite gifts from Christmas this year is this light. It kind of looks like a crystal and it comes with this remote. And so there's all these different like color options on it. So you can make it red and there's like a bunch of different shades um, up to yellow. I think this is like my favorite. I like to keep it on blue because I feel like it kind of matches the aesthetic of my room. But there's just like, it's so many options. I just think it's so pretty and I'm just kind of obsessed with it. So I had to show it off. Oh yeah, here's it going through the, all the colors. Just such a neat gift. My mom, my mom really killed it on this one. I'm trying to get back into a little bit more of my like gut health grind. So I'm going to heat up some of this bone broth. I got my bone broth all warmed up. Um, this one's actually like a turmeric ginger. So I'm hoping that like turmeric and ginger can be really good for helping with inflammation. So, um, 
yeah, I'm hoping, I really have noticed, I haven't, I haven't been drinking bone broth, like, 2023, I just did not take care of myself, I didn't have any motivation or any will to, so, um, it was pretty much just, like, DoorDash 24-7, and rotting in my bed, and scrolling TikTok, so, slowly but surely, I'm at least making better choices, even if, you know, I'm not fully convinced that my mindset will fully recover but I did always remember whenever I used to drink bone broth that it really I really felt like it did help um me just feel less bloated and I really yeah I felt like it had some benefits and I really don't mind the taste um and especially in the winter like it's just kind of a nice like warm thing to drink at the end of the day and you know it's not like coffee or something with caffeine so I know it won't keep me up so it's kind of a nice little like soothing nighttime drink. Today I am officially two weeks fully sober which I'm proud of myself for. I'm for every week that I'm sober which my goal is really just to be sober until um summer because my friend's bachelorette party is Memorial Day weekend so like obviously that would be a fun time to drink and um such but uh, for every week that I do complete being sober, I'm like rewarding myself. So the first thing I bought was actually this same sweatsuit, but in a different color um, because I'm just like loving these. They're so comfy. I get them on Amazon um, and like this grout fit is everything. Like I'm literally living in it 24 seven. The second thing I got were some blue Crocs for work. And so I was excited about that. Those will come next week. Things just really were just spiraling so much um, in 2023, especially like pretty much the whole year, but especially for the last six months of it. And things just got pretty like scary and pretty out of control. So I, I just, I knew I had to make changes, um, to get at least somewhat in a more like stable mental state. So I felt like it was good to just cut substances out and create better coping mechanisms. Part of myself for doing that because, you know, here we are two weeks strong and it's just one day at a time. But as far as goals, I really don't have any goals. I'm kind of just making better choices and then we'll just see how things play out. Um, I still just feel very protective over having any hopes for anything because just given my history, things don't usually work out for me. So I'm not really expecting them to, but at least I can hopefully just be in a yeah better, more stable place. And that is a good thing. I wanted to add in more hobbies that could give me a sense of achievement. Like I love scrolling TikTok. As I've talked about on this channel, like half of my life has been influenced by TikTok. I feel like I don't really feel like any sense of achievement after scrolling, even though I do learn a lot and there, you know, I, there are takeaways and it's, I still get on TikTok, but I'm like just trying to add in more hobbies that can, yeah, give me that sense of like achievement. Cause I know that's going to be good for me. Um, tomorrow I have my first therapy session with my new therapist. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I like her. Um, I'm going to be picky with finding a therapist. So if I don't, then I'm going to try to find someone I do like because, um, being in a grad school for clinical mental health counseling, I guess it's easy for me to see you I, like to know when someone's like therapizing me like I know the skills I know what we're taught so I need someone who can just kind of like challenge me and if they're not challenging me then I just want to find a new therapist so hopefully we'll see oh and um a lot of people were asking like what where is my vision at I mentioned that um my vision was lower I, I just feel like I'm the worst person to answer this question because I it's hard for me to describe. I should know like the actual like measurements, I guess, because when I'm at the eye doctor, like I just never really ask them what my vision is actually testing at. But I'll, I can say, I don't know if this is helpful, but when I'm at the eye doctor and I'm doing vision testing, like the only thing I can see for both of my eyes is like the big E. Anything smaller than that is blurry. Even the big E is honestly somewhat blurry for me. Um, so that is pretty much where my vision is at. I just really, really struggle to see things far away. Dealing with a lot more blurriness and and my left eye, which used to be my good eye. It used to be at like 2060 and now it's just 
nowhere near that. I have like some floaters and just a lot more like, like I can see like blind spots in my vision and I can see where I'm, where like I'm not being able to see things. When I look at something directly, like I can see that there's parts of it that I don't see. Um, and so that's what is also frustrating to me is that I can actually like physically see the blind spots in my vision and it's a lot more spotty and blurry and it's very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I'm not gonna say I'm trying to stay positive because I'm really not anymore. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty negative about it, but at least I'm here making better choices. That's something that, that stands for something, I think. I'm going to get ready for bed and I've really been enjoying using my projector at night again. It's honestly curing my seasonal depression. Like I feel like my room has the coziest vibes and I am just absolutely obsessed. So I'm gonna put on probably house. That's what I've been watching and just like getting in my bed, cozying up having a nice relaxing evening. So I will go ahead and in my video here, guys, it really it really has felt so nice to vlog again today. Um, I'm excited to get back into it. My goal is to vlog, um, to post a vlog once a week. So look forward to that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like all of your guys' comments and just, I really felt like a warm welcome posting my latest video and getting back into YouTube. It's, it's something I've really missed. So I really appreciate you guys and thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next.